We all know what a horseless carriage is. Had to ride in the back of them with parents that could never give us a satisfactory answer to the question, are we almost there yet? And we long for the day when we could get portraits of our zit-ridden faces laminated onto plastic cards that would give us the authority to cruise up and down Main Street and burn a little rubber without any adult supervision. The average 16-year-old boy in America would rather have his own set of wheels than make out with the captain of the varsity cheerleader squad. How can we desire a machine more than another human being? Well, the answer is quite simple yet absolutely profound. Every driving machine has a body, but for a cube of metal to become a living, breathing entity worthy of our interest, our passion, and our drool, it must have a soul. For a body without a soul is just a lifeless, inanimate frame that will one day be returned to the elements from which it came. So it is up to the maker of the machine to breathe life into its creation. The machine cannot say it's greater than the maker, nor can the maker say the machine is beneath him. Because through the process, the two have become one. The maker is the voice of the machine. The machine is the echo of the maker's soul.